What's going on guys, Joe from SRHQ. I got a really cool Western camp knife to share with you guys today. If you guys don't know, uh, one of my viewers, one of my friends, uh, Bill BDH, got me into collecting Westerns recently. He sent me a couple Western knives. This is the 854, I believe, Utility. Hawkbill. I showed these before on the video, but I'm just showing them again real quick. And then I got the S742, I believe. Stockman. And these were the first two Westerns I had ever have. It's, it's a company that... Um, it's a company that I don't see for sale very often. Um, this one was offered for sale. I actually watched it go three times unsold and then after that I wrote the seller and said all right let's work something out I want that knife uh, and I was able to get a great deal on it so really cool I want to talk to you guys about this knife I'll go over a little bit of the history of Western because if you were like me I was not aware of too much information on the Western um, knife company now Western knife company was an American company started by the Platts family which I'll get to that in a minute uh, very interesting stuff. In Boulder, Colorado, in 1911, they were in operation all the way up until 1984. After that, they were bought by Coleman, the camping company. And after the Coleman period, they were bought by Camillus. Now, that lasted up until 2007, I believe. It's when Camillus went under. Um, and then after that, the Western name was sold to what is it, Acme, Acme United or something. They're, they're still making Western knives, but they're, you know, produced in Asia. So as far as the, you know, Boulder, Colorado era, you know, the 1911 through 1984, that's what all these knives are here. That's what my prime interest uh, is going to be with collecting these uh, Western knives. And I want to recommend a really good... Um, article that I read on the Platts family. Now the Platts family, it's, it's just a name that comes up in a lot of the books that I read, whether I'm reading about Great Eastern Cutleries or I'm reading about Case or I'm reading about Cataraugus. Um, I hear a lot about the Platts family and I found a really good article uh, that I will share with you. It's from a website called His or Hers and His Treasures and it's the Western Knife Company, C. Platts and Sons, Cutlery, Cataraugus, and W.R. Case and Sons. What do these knife companies all have in common? And it's just a really fascinating look at how all of the, you know, early 20th century American knife companies were kind of intermingled, in, uh, intertwined. Uh, they were intermarried. I mean, it was just crazy stuff. I find it really, really interesting. So I will, I will leave a link to that down in the description box below, but definitely check it out. So let me move these two out of the way and we're just going to focus on this camp knife. According to my measurement, the handle is just over um, three and a half. Here it is compared to an Ulster uh, Boy Scout knife. Ulster, I would say, maybe is a hair longer. Could be exactly the same. And here it is next to the 93 millimeter Soldiers model Victorinox. So in this kind of ball, ballpark, I find it to be a very good size um, for a camp knife. This is a four blade. You know, we don't have the, you know, a corkscrew or a screwdriver and an awl uh, on the back like we would on a six blade. So this is a, you know, slimmer, more compact kind of multi-blade utility. Go through it. Nickel silver bolsters, we have a bale here. Covers look to be a Jig Delrin. They kind of have like a greenish hue. Kind of reminds me of Roger's Bone a little bit. Very cool looking oval, just plain oval shield. Brass pins. Yeah, steel springs, brass liners. And you can see this is a really well put together uh, knife. The bale did come a little crooked. I've had bad luck the last couple bales I've bought with knives. But yeah, very nice. The the bolsters are threaded. The jigging looks great. We 
We have a crinked main blade and it looks like a partially shaved awl. I'll just go through the tools. Standard uh, four blade camp knife setup. We have a main spear point blade, but I would argue that is a very good looking spear point blade. Let me bring out the pioneer or the soldier's knife. I would argue that the Western has the Victorinox outclassed by quite a bit. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. You know, it's it's got a swedge up top. It's got the long pull. It's got everything, you know, rounded, very high polish. Just overall, great job on that blade. I love that big belly. Here's the tang stamp. Western USA. It looks like the, the stamp machine, I don't know, skidded a little bit. It's a little faded up there. At the top, let's see how old this is. Let's go to that article that I suggested you go take a look at. And they have some Western tank stamp charts. So I believe the one that I have, just Western USA is this one right here. So we could date this knife between 1961 and 1977. And looking at the condition of this, I'm, I'm really thrilled about this. Because at first I thought this must be, you know, 80s or something like that. Um... But I don't know, it, it appears to be older. So yeah, we got the main spear point blade. Uh, love the fat belly, love the long pull. Everything's nice and rounded. Got a drawn swedge up there. Here's our can opener, kind of lobster claw style can opener. I like that all of the tools on this have long pulls. I think that looks really good. What else do we have on here? Here's our screwdriver cap lifter. I think that is a very good looking, thick, you know, sturdy looking screwdriver. Again, with the long pull. Again, all these tools are, you know, chamfered and rounded and smoothed. Lots of attention to detail on all of these parts. Then we have the awl. Very pointy, very interesting design. Again, with the long pull, looks great. Yeah, and there you have it. I just wanted to turn the camera on and show you guys the latest addition to the, the Western collection. Read that article. I've, I've been told it's a really good summary of the information that's in the book called the knife makers that went west and i believe the man that wrote that was harvey platts um so yeah definitely check it out let me know what you guys think of the article uh, down in the comments below i think it's just fascinating information i actually have a copy of that book the knife makers that went west on the way if you guys want to look for it uh feel free of course it's been out of print for years and you know it's hard to find and most of the time they are uh, expensive, but just if you're looking for it, just keep your eye out. Uh, a, a good deal will come around eventually. So that's all, guys. I just wanted to pop on and share the the newest member to the Western Knife Company collection, the Camp Knife. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the look at the Western Knife Company Camp Knife. Really cool knife. I'm really happy to have it in the collection. You know, we now have a collection of three, so we will see where this goes. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, check out this, this article. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys think. I think it's a really uh, great article packed with lots and lots of information. So uh, with that, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.